What's up everyone, James here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the proper version of the Joker's car from the up and coming movie Suicide Squad. A lot of other people will show you how to do it, but they pick the wrong car, they choose the Turismo. It's nothing like it, the um, Zentorno is actually the closest one, so I'm going to get straight into it now. What you want to do is you want to go into the respray, you want to put chrome on. Once you put that on, you go to crew, put that on as well. This is the trickier part to get the chrome and the other colour. You want to go down to metallic, go onto it, don't select anything, back out. Go onto something, anything else like a plate or anything like that, just buy it. And then go back off it, go back to respray. And then go down to pearlescent and now you'll have access to it. Scroll down to the hot pink selection and then it'll put it on. It doesn't look like it when you're in the Los Angeles Customs but it does actually work. It makes it a lot more vibrant, it makes it pop. It does take your crew colour off, but in order to get it to work, you've got to put it on twice, so it does cost you double. I know it's a pain, but it does work It does work at the end, it's worth it. So you buy that again. One thing I will have to say is, you need to make sure your crew colour is kind of like a pink. Just type in Joker's car and it'll come up straight away. I'm sure you know which one it, in, which one it is already if you've uh, looked at it. You want to try and match your crew colour up as much as possible on that, and then set it. You're going to have to back out and close the game down if you're already in it go back onto it and then it should be alright so you know, that's how you get the crew colour in general this is just a quick look of what it actually looks like outside it it's really quite dull when I was recording this in the game so it doesn't have the same effect you see you saw at the start and you'll see at the end again it's a lot lot brighter once the sun's out but when you're in the shadows it just looks more of a chrome with like a tiny little bit of pink on it doesn't really look anything like the car but when you're in the sun it really does work and I'm going to cut back to Los Santos Customs here Right, now that we're back in Los Santos Customs, I'll quickly show you all the rest of the body parts you need to put on it. One thing I forgot to mention on this video is the new secondary colour, it needs to be the pure gold, it's the best looking one. But put xenon lights on and then go to neon layout, it's going to set you about 30 grand, but you want to put front, back and sides. And it's actually the electric blue colour, a lot of people put green and purple, it's actually electric blue in the footage we've seen online. So that's the one you want to put on, electric blue and then the full body, full neon kit underneath. The skirts you want to have on, you'll see here, the second one from the top, the street skirt, and you want to have that, that'll be your secondary colour, so it'll be gold. I, the, the spoiler on the back's optional, but I quite liked it, so I'll put it on just to enhance the gold look, but that's not actually on the proper one, so if you want to make it as accurate as possible, don't put that on. But for the custom rims, you want to go Chrome, Sport, and then this one on the screen, the Loz Speed. It's the closest you can get. I spent a good 20 minutes looking through them all, trying to find the best one. That's the best you can do. Windows, you don't want any tint on them. You just want it clear. It's totally optional to you, but the most accurate is just clear. The chassis, just keep it the same. Don't put any, don't change it. Sorry, you do. You want to put the gold on the sides there. I keep forgetting, but yeah. You want to put the gold on the sides there, and that'll make it as accurate as possible. The twin bore exhaust, that's the closest you can get in GTA. You see where the splitter is on the back. That's where the exhaust would normally be on the real car, but that's the best you can do. And on the front bonnet, you don't want to have the exam, the fins on, or the um, air intakes, what I mean. You don't want that on, you just want it plain, and that's the most accurate to the real car. It's quite hard to make it, but that's, this is there as close as you're going to get on GTA Online until they add like another car. You watch my look, they'll add another car tomorrow or something like that in the new up in the new update that's really similar and I've just wasted like nine hundred thousand on this because it does this is how much it set me back. In fact, I think the total it cost me to do this whole car, including buying it, was like one million two hundred, so it's not a cheap project, but I do think the results are worth it. You'll see here what it looks like in the sun in just a minute. You'll see now when I when I eventually turn the car around. It does have a really cool effect. Once I get out of this, once I get behind the bridge, it, it really, really pops. You can see on the screen, it's absolutely amazing. That looks really, really similar to the colour. It, it's all about getting the crew colour right. It's just the pearlescent really makes it pop. And then the gold trim, you can't really tell, but it's just that little subtle difference. Anyway, yeah, that's the Joker car from Suicide Squad. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and favourite if you want, share it. It will really help us out. I'm thinking about doing a rerun for this channel. I'm not I don't upload that much to it, but I think I'm gonna start doing a bit more stuff like this, GTA like customization videos, that kind of thing. So if you enjoyed it, subscribe and you can be along for the ride. Thanks for watching. Have a look at my other channels in the description. Um thanks for now, see ya.